little rapport gaming technique that I call friends that I use every time I perform. Now, you can use this if you're performing, you can use this in any situation. It doesn't have to be a performance situation. I'm going to explain to you in the, the I'm going to explain to you the way that I do this when I'm performing and I'll show you how you can use it in other situations. So when I'm performing close-up magic at a corporate event, I will I'll ask some people if I can borrow a couple of coins. So I'll borrow a couple of coins from somebody in the audience and uh, thank you very much, borrow a couple of coins and then I'll launch into this little story. I will say, years ago, me and my friends would we'd go out into a bar, we'd have a drink right? and at some point after we'd had a drink I would stand up and I would start doing this. Now somebody would always come up to me and say, what are you doing? And I'd say, well, my friends have just told me it's impossible to balance one coin on top of the other one, but I think I can do it. And, of course, the guy would always say, well, I bet you can't do that. To which I would say, well, I'll take you up on that bet. Do you know, I've just finished my drink. In fact, all my friends, we've all finished our drinks. I'll take you up on that bet. And so I'd bet the round of, it's a scam, it's a hustle, right? And then I would do this. Balance one coin on top of the other. Yeah, I'd normally get my drink. Sometimes I had to duck, though. So I tell this little story like this, uh, then obviously what I do is I go on to balance one coin on top of the other one, I make the top one spin around and then I make them float, some silly things like that, as part of the entertainment. However, what have I done? Three times I have said, my friends, and I've gestured to the group of people that I'm standing in front of, the group of people that I've never met before. I don't normally do this one as an opener, but certainly within the first couple of minutes of meeting a group of ten people at a table, I'm referring to them as my friends. Three times whilst I'm telling this little story, like I say, it doesn't have to be a performance as a magician. You can use this in any situation. You can talk about the fact that you went mountain biking at the weekend with your friends. You can refer to, um, there's, there's somebody that, uh, somebody that I met that, uh, a long time ago actually now, and um, we've become really good friends. And, you know, back then when I was thinking, yeah, I never thought about how good friends we'd be in the future. We are essentially calling other people friends. Now, reciprocity is defined by Dr. Robert Cialdini as being the number one influence tool, is uh, where you give something to somebody, and it kind of makes them feel like they want to give something back to you. And everyone who has ever got a Christmas card from somebody, and, oh, I didn't send one to them, you feel guilty, and next year you do send one to them. If somebody buys you dinner, then you want to buy them dinner. Even if a salesman gives you a, just a 50% disc, a discount on a product you didn't even know you wanted to buy until he cold called you a few moments ago, then it, ev that, it evokes that feeling of reciprocity. So, by me giving them, essentially giving them my friendship, I mean, I'm actually talking about my friends and something that happened, well, it didn't really ever happen, it's a made-up story. But I am essentially saying, my friends, and I'm gesturing to the people I'm in front of, the people I'm performing for. I'm essentially, on one level, saying, you're my friends. I think of you as my friend. And even if we've never met them before, and we're telling a story about other people, we're still saying the same thing. We're still saying my friends. It's subtle and it's very powerful for groups or for individuals. It's a very useful little rapport gaming technique. Work into your patter as a performer or work into conversations that you have, references to what a great friend somebody is in the story that you're telling, whilst gesturing to the person or people you're with. What a great friend! What an invaluable friend he became! It's very subtle, and it's a little bit sneaky. Have fun with it.